Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sports book. I am your host, Tom Downey. Time now for my Cowboys mailbag, one of the favorite segments that we do here on the Cowboys Report. First up from Sergio uh, Jamie, I assume there, hope I didn't get that one wrong. McCarthy as OC, I like the idea a lot actually, but I don't think it's all that likely because I don't think McCarthy's going to be in OC next season. Now, he wants another head coaching job. Given the iffy offensive coordinators out there right now in the NFL and the first-year candidates, I think he's going to get one if he chooses to take one. I think the most likely outcome is A, takes a head coaching gig, then he sits out a year if he wants, then it's down becoming an OC. So I like the idea of Adam McCarthy. I just don't think he's going to take an OC job. All right, next up from Adrian says, chances of DeFlippo coming to Dallas as a quarterback's coach. I like the idea a lot because I still kind of like John DeFlippo regardless of what happened in Minnesota. Now, the Minnesota marriage between Flip and Zimmer just never worked out. All right, the ground game was bad. Zimmer wanted to run the football. Minnesota was not effective running the football. Flip wanted to throw it a lot, which is a bit, a bit of a concern for me when it comes to being an OC. I would gladly, not even just quarterbacks, give me Flip over Linehan. Like, Linehan's awful. I would much rather have D. Filippo as my OC than Linhan. The issue is he is going to have plenty of interest. The Eagles could bring him back. Other teams could want him as an OC. So would you want Flip as the OC of the Cowboys next year? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I am on board with it. And if you get him as a quarterback coach to the original question, sign me up in a heartbeat. I'll pay that man double what any other quarterback coach makes in the NFL. All right, from Ponzi saying, do you see Tavon Austin getting five to seven touches if he comes back this week? I actually don't. Not because I don't think he's going to come back. I think Tavon has a good chance to play him this week. But Austin has 13 offensive touches all season. That's it. Tavon is not heavily involved in the offense. Now, you could approach five to seven if you include, include him on returns, which I think is very reasonable. But offensive touches, I don't think he's going to get to 5-7. Seven. His max in one game this year was 4. That is it for Tavon Austin. And frankly, where are those touches going to come from? Maybe you take one away in the passing game from Zeke Elliott. Maybe you take one away from Alan Hearns. And maybe you take away a jet sweep from Jordan Lewis. That kind of puts you around that 3 or 4 range. So Tavon will get on the field if he plays. He'll be key on returns, and the speed helps. But he is not going to be a double-digit touch guy. That's just not who he is. That's not who he's ever really been in the NFL. All right, folks, most of these mailbag questions come to us from our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. So if you're watching on YouTube, you haven't subscribed already, go do it. If you're watching on Facebook, go subscribe as well, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. We are approaching the 10K mark, so keep those subscriptions coming, folks. Really do appreciate it. All right, next up. Should we be concerned about our defensive line in the long run? I don't really think so with one big but, and that is but if you don't resign, I guess one big if. If you don't resign DeMarcus Lawrence, then you are concerned. Tank is a free agent after this year, and if he gets franchise tank, I'll tell you guys right now, there is going to be some issues between the Cowboys front office and DeMarcus Lawrence. Now, Antoine Woods has been a very, very impressive surprise. Malik Collins will help. He's been played very, very well. Tyrone Crawford has been the the uh, the dirty guy. He's done everything you asked of him. Maybe a little overpaid, but he makes a lot of the dirty work plays for the Cowboys. Gregory and Taco Dorrance also under contract. David Irving is a free agent, so maybe look for another DT in free agency or more likely in a stacked NFL draft class. Now, speaking of David Irving, Connor Mitchell asks, will the Cowboys keep Irving one more year or let him go this offseason. It's not set in stone yet, but I would be pretty surprised if the Cowboys brought back David Irving next season. I, I think they are just fed up with him. And he's immensely talented, and I feel bad for everything that he's had to deal with this season and last season, but it's always something with David Irving, right? There's always something going on, be it an injury that takes maybe a little bit longer than you'd like for, for, for him to recover from, off-the-field stuff going on. I think the Cowboys are done with David Irving, and frankly, I've said as much since the beginning of the season. Now, do you want Irving back on the Cowboys next year? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. You can, I guess, maybe I'll listen to the argument of super, super cheap contract, but I think in the end it's still probably better for both sides to go their separate ways. 
All right, Sloan, any chance we see Dayton Jones this year and how would he fit in the rotation? Jones, of course, is on IR right now with a hamstring injury. I don't think we see him come back. The Cowboys do have one player they can bring in off of IR, but frankly, Jones' snaps have been stolen by Daniel Ross. Daniel Ross has played that backup DT role really, really well. There's a spot for him. I think they'll try and bring him back again next year, but I don't think you'll see Jones return to the Cowboys this season. All right, folks, I am playing Santa Tom this holiday season. So do you want a Cowboys jersey? Maybe some awesome-looking Cowboys shoes? Here's how you can get it for free. Sign up and deposit with our friends over at BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet, and then use promo code COWBOYS120. A, it gets you the jersey offer, and it gets you a 120% deposit bonus. What that means is you put down 50 bucks, BetDSI will give you an extra 62 bet with. That is the best deal out there. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code COWBOYS120, and then DM us on Twitter, at chatsports. We'll respond, we'll get your address, all your information, all that kind of stuff, we'll confirm, and then we'll get you guys a Cowboys jersey. We have right now, still in supply, but it's going quickly, Zeke Elliott, Dak Prescott, and Jalen Smith in a couple different types of colors for the jersey. So again, DM us on Chat Sports once you guys get signed up. Film Productions asking, will Chris Richard leave us to be a head coach, and is there a way we can keep him somehow? Well, I mean, I guess you could fire Jason Garrett, which I don't think you're going to see the Cowboys front office do, barring an epic collapse down the stretch here. But Richard will draw head coaching interest this offseason. I think the Bucks make sense. Maybe a team like the Packers. I think the Bucks are the logical fit there. And if he doesn't get a head coaching job, I feel very confident that Chris Richard will not leave. Because in reality, even though he was as the DB's coach, Chris Richard is your de facto coordinator right now for the Dallas Cowboys. All right, first last says, should Tyron Smith be traded for a first and a second round pick? I say no, and it's not a total dismissal, but let me explain. Injuries have been a problem for Tyron Smith, and I am open to trading anybody if the offer is right. The problem is, A, who is your new left tackle if you trade away Tyron Smith? Because when he's right and healthy, he is among the NFL's best. He was bad against the Eagles, but in the couple games before that, had almost been perfect. Now, in the end, I think this is a type of trade that both teams say no to. If Tyron is still worth a lot, you don't want to trade him. If he's not worth a lot because he's banged up, you're not going to get a good offer for him. So I think in that scenario, I'd say both teams say no. And frankly, I know the back's concerning. You should look for depth in the, in the draft. But I still really think Tyron is a guy you need out there at left tackle. All right, CGP2003 says, what will be the hardest playoff team to go against in the wild card? Great question, because I think we can look ahead now. I will put the Seattle Seahawks at number one, the most likely opponent actually for the Cowboys, because Seattle is also playing really hot right now. And it may be weird, I actually really don't want to play the Philadelphia Eagles. That is actually the last team I want to play. They're, they're not the toughest, but they are the last team I want to play. A, I've already beat them twice. I don't want to play them a third time. That's very tough to do. B, the downside is we have to deal with Eagles fans all offseason again. Don't want to even approach that one. I'm not sure they just miss playoffs altogether. Then it's Minnesota amid a bunch of problems with their offense. Carolina's falling apart. And Green Bay, yeah, they have Aaron Rodgers. The team has been bad this year, though. And they already have an interim head coach in Joe Philbin, who's bad. So, what team or teams do you not want to play in the wild card? I worry about the Seahawks, and I don't think they're going to make it, but the Eagles as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, Daddy J says, after the cap was raised, after the Dez and the Romo contracts are all done, how much cap will we have? The answer there is you're going to be around $51, $54 million, depending on what else you do before the year ends in terms of future deals and all that kind of stuff. So, a lot of money. Yes, you can afford Amari and Tank and Byron and Dak and Zeke you worry about later on because he's under contract for quite a while. But you can afford all of those players. That's the good news for the Cowboys, depending on what Dak and Tank end up coming in at. And, by the way, save $5 million by cutting Alan Hearns. Save seven if you cut Sean Lee, two and a half to three if you cut Terrence Williams. That's an easy extra ten, ten and a half million bucks right there. The Cowboys are not in any type of cap problem this year. All right, back to CGP 2003. Says, what backup quarterback should the Cowboys cut 
Mike White or Cooper Rush, maybe cut both and get a free agent. I assume he's talking about A, the offseason, but why cut anyone right now? You don't need to make a decision until roster cuts, right? You can go sign a vet. I'm always on board with that one, but let Rush and White battle next year. Maybe White takes a step forward and is your number two, and that's what I think is the, the end goal in taking Mike White. Maybe you draft another guy late in the, in the NFL draft process, round five, round six, and let all three guys compete. There's no reason to commit to cutting one right now because they'll have an entire offseason of growth, and a second offseason for a quarterback is a big, big deal. All right, folks, it is the holiday season, and I am playing Santa Tom hooking you guys up. Do you want a Cowboys jersey or some of those awesome-looking Cowboys shoes? Got the best deal out there for you guys to get one. Chatsports.com slash bet takes you to BetDSI. Use promo code COWBOYS120 when you sign up and deposit. And then DM us on Twitter, at Chatsports, and we'll get you guys the Cowboys shoes or the Cowboys shoes. we got Dak, Zeke, and Jalen Smith. Again, Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS120 gets that 120% deposit bonus, i.e. you put down 50 bucks. They're going to give you an extra 60 to bet with, and we'll get you guys some of the gear. Those Cowboys shoes right there. The jersey we showed you earlier on in the show. We got a lot of in inventory, but they are going quickly. So you better get in on the action while you still can. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Cowboys120. Then DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. All right, Brandon asking, other than safety and tight end, what position should we use our draft picks on this year? Well, I'll take a look here at what I think of the top five needs, which some time to change things. Tight end, safety, do lead the way. I'm looking at DT to help replace David Irving if he does leave in free agency. I'm looking at offensive tackle to get a new swing guy and to provide depth just in case something bad happens to Tyron Smith. Or Leo Collins continues to not improve. And I'll mention defensive end. They're in good shape. But if you lose to Marcus Lawrence, I don't think you're going to, that vaults to number one. Beyond that, you can always look for more secondary depth at corner. No, you can never have too many corners on your roster. You can look at a linebacker if you want. I don't think that's a big need right now. Maybe some more interior offensive linemen because you always need those guys. Receiver, maybe a later on pick to compete with guys like Sed Wilson for the last spot or two. Maybe another halfback, just maybe a speedier guy to play a third general, help give Zeke some breathers. Maybe you take a later on pick on a quarterback because – I'm always going to take a flyer on a quarterback on day three because, hey, if you filled your other needs, why not go big for a quarterback? So let me know in the comment section, folks, what you think the Cowboys' top need is this offseason. And if you don't know what to, if you don't know what you want for Christmas, if you don't know what to put on your Christmas list, how about a Miz and a Main shirt? It's the best dress shirt out there. Comfortable.af is the site. You are not going to find a better shirt, be it dress or otherwise. I sleep in this thing. That's how comfortable it is. Comfortable. Don't worry. I do wash before I come into work, so it's all good. All right, next up from Angel or Angel. I don't know how to pronounce it. My bad, my boy. Seeing how well our tight ends are playing, how are we going to feel when we draft another tight end in the second round? He says, long shot, but TJ Hawkinson. I'll feel great. Guys, it is a great tight end draft class if these guys turn pro. Irv Smith, think OJ Howard. TJ Hawkinson, think upside of George Kittle. Caleb Wilson, Albert O, Dawson Knox, those guys are more move tight ends. If you can guarantee me Irv Smith or TJ Hawkinson in round two, man, I will be so, so happy. Those guys fit the Cowboys' offensive style, and they're also good enough to actually be receiving weapons at tight end. So I am on board with the taking a tight end later on this year in the NFL draft. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.